Today we're going to have a quick look at this two-in-one planting of pecans. This two-in-one planting was planted a number of years ago by my father on their property. If you've seen pecans, they the way they're typically pruned does not suit backyard orchard culture. So they're usually grown as a single leader, and you could say, I guess this is the best way to grow them if you're a commercial producer, a single leader, and you remove any competing leader, so you maintain one single leader for as high as you can, which is very high with a pecan tree. Uh, there's actually a great video for producers on how to maintain pecan trees, and I'll put that link in the description below. But in the home garden or the home orchard context, that's not how we want to treat our pecans. Before I go further, I do want to point out that what I'm going to share in this video is experimental, but it does seem to be working out. Uh, you won't find this technique mentioned anywhere with regards to growing pecans, so do so at your own risk. Where I am in Australia, cockatoos would take absolutely every single fruit or every single nut you produced if you didn't net the tree. Also, you need pollination and pecans are actually pollinated by wind. You need two different cultivars close enough together that the wind can blow pollen from one tree to the other. The grower here, my father, has got around this by planting two in one hole. We're actually just about to prune this tree. As soon as it loses the last of this foliage, we'll be pruning this two in one planting. But it's a, a great example of why you do need to maintain your two-in-one plantings. This one hasn't been maintained very well, and so I thought I'd show you what happens if you don't. So if, as we move into the base of these trees, what we actually have here is a one variety on the right in frame that's much more vigorous than the other, which is this single trunk that comes out. But what's actually happened is this vigorous variety it comes up, and it's actually got quite thick branches that extend over where the other tree is growing and it's prevented it from growing at the same rate these produce wonderfully so that isn't the issue but over time you really don't want this tree to dwarf this one to the extent that it loses vigor doesn't flower or perhaps even dies so we're going to deal with that this year we've obviously got to reduce the vigor of that tree on the right i can see straight away we're going to have to remove this branch here because it grows out over what is our second cultivar. Probably remove this branch because it's taking up a lot of space that should be taken up by that second cultivar. And I dare say I'd move that branch that's pointing out towards the back because that'll also compete for space with the space that second cultivar should be growing in. Which would leave this main trunk here, second branch back there and the branches out to the side on this right hand cultivar. We don't want to grow our pecans like the commercial guys. We're not going for central leaders. In fact, we're just like a, a nice large pecan bush. Now, when we're talking large, we're still talking a four metre high pecan bush. But that's what we're going for. If I were to plant two pecans in the one hole nowadays, I wouldn't plant them right up against each other like this. I can see this perhaps becoming a problem when the trunks thicken up and actually want to take take up the space of each other. Um, nowadays I'd probably plant them on 18, 18 inch centers or two foot centers even, um, as advised by Dave Wilson. Nursery, uh, Tom, is it Tom Spellman, gives out excellent advice on backyard orchard culture with multiple trees in, in what they call one hole. And by that, they just mean planted closely there's some excellent information in those videos and I'll link my favorite one below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the pecan two-in-one planting. Can be done, can be kept small and they'll still fruit in a smaller backyard. Thanks for watching.